Hey Virgo, this is your general tarot reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Ascendant, a rising sign for the month of June. Virgo, let's do what we always do. As the first card hops out there. Yeah, we're going to shuffle the cards, wait on all the right ones to come out for you, my love. And in the meantime, let's talk about the energies that you may feel throughout the month. And it's interesting because before I just switched on the camera there, I was tuning into your energy and I saw two really nice things. The first one was flowers. Flowers, I don't know, does that mean some success, which could be happening. We'll talk about that in a moment. Some success could be coming to you where you are handed flowers as part of a reward, part of a gift, part of a celebration. Uh, for those of you who are lucky enough to have a garden or even a window box or a balcony, you might be very interested in creating a little flower area because what I sensed, Virgo, for you tuning into your energy, that there is something to do with nature, nature, flowers, natural spaces this month, which do something spiritual for you. Even if you're going on a vacation and you find yourself in a wild park or a natural place, there seems to be, and this is why I'm going into it for you, there seems to be a moment where you either see flowers, see something naturally beautiful in nature, obviously, and it takes your breath away and something becomes clear. There's a moment of like being spiritually cleaned and in the beauty of what you see in that moment in a park wherever this may be for you Virgo there is a moment of release and gratitude for something more beautiful in your life there's a great sense of pleasure of feeling like you're being heard by spirit or feeling like you've done it I've done it I'm over it and in this natural space with these flowers maybe it's a kind of ah, there, there. That's the moment I knew that spirit was with me. Okay, so hopefully at some point through the month you will feel that connection to spirit. It's closely associated, as I said, with flowers or some natural breathtaking space that gives you such huge spiritual pleasure. That's really it. But anyway, aside from that, there is a lot of joy, a lot of happiness and a lot of pleasure, but also a lot of hard work going on this month for you, Virgo. Because why? We enter the month with Sun in Gemini and Mercury in Gemini. Strength, power, force, determination and intelligence going into pushing ahead with your career. Or if you're not working, pushing ahead with something that you're absolutely determined to succeed with. Maybe it's just a hobby or a project, or maybe it's being a responsible person in a situation or within your family, being a responsible parent, whatever. There's a real moment this month where you, you're full steam ahead. I'm going to take on this challenge. I'm going to work this. I'm going to get things thrown at me left, right and center, and I'm going to handle it like a pro and turn this around into a huge success because that's exactly what's going to happen for you. You've Mars and Cancer in the 11th house, and on June 4th, you've Mercury, your ruler, going into the 11th house, where there are bouquets of flowers, where there are rewards, where there are people coming from all different corners to come up and congratulate you and say, well done, you've won, it's a success. It's a success. Your hard work pays off, it's a success. Now, with June 3rd, there's a new moon in Gemini. June 9th, Venus in Gemini in the 10th house. So what we have here is a moment where there's a bridge, a bridge happening where you start the month, work, 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 everything being thrown at you. And the universe is saying, well, let's see how much you can handle. And you do it. And it might mean doing all-nighters, working all night, you know, early up in the morning to get the job done. It's like my mind is on it, my mind is on it. I must succeed, I must succeed. And you do, you do. Now, for a great many of you, it could mean around June 3rd that you see yourself entering a new career space, entering a new job, a new promotion even. An elevation is happening somewhere, even if you work on your own. You might notice this month that a huge amount of work flips something up for you where you rise up the ranks, 
a little bit. I mean, even if you work on social media, if you have a social media business page, you might see that some hard push that you're giving this month just glides you upward and onward. It's a huge success for you. Look, the next card that comes out, the world. We're going to wait for more cards, Virgo. I think you know by now what we do here. But yeah, huge thing. And I also want to say this. You have Jupiter retrograding in Sagittarius in the fourth house, where it's a lot to do with family. And I think that some family issue, we talked about this last month. Was it family, uh, money, family issue, family business, family thing? You're going to see an end come to that. And I think you and all the work you've done in this situation, it's going to be a success for you. Whatever you've been pushing for, hoping for in this family or home situation, it's a win. It's a win. Virgo, this month is win time for you. It is your trophy, your prize. And you're saying, but wait, 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 what, what, what? I'm not doing any project on social media. I'm not pushing ahead with my work. Okay, maybe so. So we'll put that aside for a moment because we know that if it's to do a career work or some challenge you've taken on, we know you've won. But another thing that could be happening where the success is coming is through two things, love and romance. Yeah, love, romance. You could find this month that you enter a new relationship, a kind of dream relationship. Okay, is it based in reality? Not necessarily to begin with. Even for those of you in a relationship, there's a kind of a beautiful glow about the whole concept of love relationships. The singles, you could find a beautiful, maybe just say a holiday romance, a vacation romance, or somebody who just puts that sparkle in your eye again. Is it long term? Maybe, maybe. But we know that it begins as a kind of, oh my God, it, this is just amazing. Floaty energy. So very nice floaty energy. Now the other thing that you could be getting a success with Actually, two more things. For those of you who have children or work with children, there's a moment to have fun and create a magical connection between the two of you this month. Maybe a lot of you are working hard to build a connection, a strong, strong understanding between you and your small children or even adult children, that there's work going into it. Um, and it's, it's like you want things to be softer, kinder, gentler between you and children so yours even nieces nephews and so on there's a really nice moment of happiness I, I keep feeling that it's like a magical space that you're creating for children so that's beautiful if that's what you do in your workspace i mean that is definitely a win now when it comes to contracts any contracts work contracts the buying and selling of something, contract, anything like that. What I want you to do is to just keep vigilant here, Virgo. You're going to get a success, but I don't want you always to accept the first offer, okay? Because you're glowing this month. People are paying attention to you. People are seeing you and they're celebrating you. And you might get offers left, right and centre to join this, do this, you know, become a team leader here, join this new team and work. Fine, wonderful. But before you just jump right in and say, oh, it's wonderful, it's all my dreams come true, allow a little bit of clarity to happen here, a little bit of practicality, and you're good at that, Virgo. Allow your practical Virgo head to sit with some offer and not get swept away by, you know, like Sally Field at the Oscar, they love me, they love me, yes, I will take your offer. <laughs> I know that's not usually your energy, but it could happen this month, being swept away by friends, people coming out and saying, you're fabulous. Now, as I said that, I just want to go down one other route with you, Virgo. It's a good thing to keep your head together because so many people will be saying, you're brilliant, you're brilliant, you're brilliant. Um... Don't get swept along with some tide into something that you don't want to do and say, oh, it'll be fine, it'll work out. Don't do that. I'm just saying to you, success is yours, but don't lose that wonderful, earthy, practical, Virgo sensibility. 
to know, you know, I mean, you're so clever, you know when something's working and when it's not working. If somebody usually handed you a contract or a document, you're like, mm, let me see this and go through the fine detail. That's what you're great at. But why I'm pushing this is because I think that there's just such a moment of exhilaration somewhere along the line here that you could be swept into signing on a dotted line and afterwards you say, was that a good idea? Should I have done that? You know, so consider your options carefully and don't allow yourself to get swept away by an offer or a contract or an invitation to do something that has long reaching effects. Contracts are still contracts, my love, you know. They, they still must be treated seriously. So that's, that's the vibe that's very strong. As a card flew out in a, on the floor, I'm trying to grab it with my foot here. Hold on, I have to get it further. Now, the card of moving on. We know you're moving on, moving ahead with your work, your career, and with some success. But I also see with Venus and Taurus there, in the ninth house, that maybe right from the beginning of the month, maybe around June 3rd, there could be an invitation to work abroad, work with foreign people, work doing something really fun, something that you really enjoy. Um, maybe even some of you, if you're co-parenting, there might be an opportunity to travel maybe with children this month and have a real special moment with them. But it's, it's like going to a really good space with something that makes you really happy. So that's very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so what else is going on? Full moon in Sagittarius in the fourth house. Ah, okay, I'd forgotten about that. And I think that's what this relates to. Whatever family worries or concerns were going on, even privacy issues, privacy in your home, trying to organize something in your home, trying to renovate, clear space, redesignate certain rooms to certain things, creating an office in your own home perhaps. Whatever trouble or weirdness or pressure that was going on that you had to just fix, I see that definitely happening this month and you're very happy with the results. So that's, I mean, that's really nice, I like it. Um, now, June 21st, the sun goes into Cancer in your 11th house. It's the day of the solstice, and this again, you're seeing huge rewards. Virgo, this is quite a lucky month for you, quite a lucky month. So for those of you who do play lottery or anything like that, give it a try. I mean, as I always say, don't spend huge amounts of money on it, you know. Just have a little flutter, win, lose it, you don't care, you're not going to lose a huge amount. But because luck is on your side this month, I would definitely, as two cards fall out, yeah, luck is on your side and then this comes out, but don't worry, I know what that's about. Um, because luck is on your side, it's worth having a little flutter, you know, even just buy a few raffle tickets, even if it's a charity thing and they say, oh, can you buy a ticket to support this charity thing? Just do it. You might be nicely surprised. Maybe that's where you win the flowers. <laughs> I don't know. But um, it's, a, it's a beautiful energy for you. But it's a lot of hard work. You put in the hard work and you're going to get rewarded. I mean, that is practical. Cause and effect. I have worked. Show me the reward. Show me the money. Show me the big income too. Because let's not forget, with all this beautiful energy going on for you in the 11th house, it's a lot to do with raising your salary, raising your income, approaching your boss, perhaps, this month at some point, um, from maybe the second week onwards, approaching your boss and saying, look, we've got to talk. You're not paying me enough for this shit, <laughs> you know? Or if I'm going to do this work, you have to put a better contract in place. I want more money. I want a better position. I want... I've earned the respect, so put me up there, yeah. If you're advertising a business or advertising something you're doing too, this is a fabulous month for people to notice what you're selling, what you're advertising. So it's really, it's all good. I'm very excited for you, Virgo, really. Um, June 21st, Neptune goes retrograde in Pisces. Now this was something actually I had focused on before doing the reading. There might be a weird moment at some point throughout the month, Virgo, where you are saying, if only, 
you're having a share moment, you know, if I could turn back time, <laughs> you're having a bit of that. If I could turn back time, I would have handled that relationship better. If I could turn back time, for those of you with children, I would have given my children a better start or I would have done something differently. Now listen, Virgo, there's no point at any, any time saying, if I could turn back time, I would do it differently. The past is in the past. What you have now is an absolute gift and a wonderful month for you to turn something around. If things weren't right between an old relationship or whatever, maybe you don't have the opportunity now to fix it, but you certainly have an opportunity to forgive it and let it go and not maybe to make similar mistakes again. If it's an issue to do with how you were a parent, how you raised children, how you regretted X, Y, and Z about something, you're not going to turn back time, but you are going to be able now to say, I forgive it, forget it, let's move on and create a new magical space together. Or let's, let's have more love in this situation, this issue, so that I don't constantly turn back and say, I would have done that differently. Even a work contract, I would have handled that differently. Relax. Hindsight is 2020 vision. All you have now is the ability to forgive, surrender, and let that go without beating yourself up. Okay? Okay, we always only ever do the best we can at any given moment. Maybe you know a little better now, but, I mean, you did your best. You did your best, so no more flogging that horse, okay? Um, we end the month with Mercury going into Leo, into the 12th house, of forgiveness, of forgetting, of being in touch with spirit, of being quiet, reserved. And after this big success and the hard work, you do get a kind of a break at the end of the month where you say, I can breathe out now, I can relax, and I don't have to work as hard as I did at the start of the month. I worked, the success came, now I just need to close the door, switch off my cell phone and just relax and have a beautiful moment where I can quiet my mind and do something that makes me happy and maybe work behind the scenes again a little bit on something creative but in your own private space, not yet to be shared but just to be developed and to play with and be creative with and have fun. So. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Have fun as that beautiful card hops out. Yeah, sun and love. I would not be surprised if this is vacation time for some of you that there is, as I said, love under the sun. A little holiday romance like those Mills and Boone novels. Hopefully not as cheesy as those, but you know, where the handsome man sweeps along the shore and finds this beautiful beautiful goddess. Anyway, you know how it goes. I haven't really read a lot of Mills and Boone. Maybe it's not how it quite goes. <laughs> but you know what I mean? There is that moment of a, a real sunshine, holiday, surprise, happy romance. Now, that's all your cards and we do have one extra card and I will read it. So Virgo, with all that said and done, let's go over to your ta-da! Big successful month overview. So, there is, there is a great feeling of happiness this month because you are surrounded with good family and good friends and you feel you've got your good tribe together. So you're comforted by that. You're getting a lot of support from friends this month. They mean everything to you. And even, <coughs> excuse me, friends that you may not know. Your social media pals that you don't see from one end of the year to the other. Maybe you haven't seen them since college. Or even if you have a social media business, you might not actually know the people who are celebrating you, but you feel the love, you feel the support. Uh, and that's a great thing. I mean, for, for me working on social media, I don't actually know personally you, but when I read a lot of your comments and I see the comments repeating, I get to know your little icons, your little things, you know, in your comments. I do get familiar with you and when I see your name pop up in the comments, I do remember you and it kind of makes me feel good that you come back and write little comments. And I know you probably think, oh, she gets a million comments or whatever, she wouldn't remember me. I do. 
and I I always enjoy seeing people return and write things, you know. So, so it's that feeling of even people that you might never have met celebrating you or sharing something really positive with you. That that's it's a good feeling. I know certainly it's a good feeling for me, and, and hopefully. Now that you know that I do know you and I do remember you when you come in from month to month, maybe that's a nice thing to know too, I don't know. But there is also this thing we spoke about, feeling that there is an accomplishment. Hard work was done and you are now over the worst of it. You, you've finished some tough business maybe within a family situation, things that you are left to organise, that you are left to push through with. And you did. Here's the success you pushed through. Work, family, home, selling a home, buying a home. It's all about feeling fully invigorated and supported to go into this next next step. You're rising. You are definitely going up to some next level. And it's exactly how it should be. No matter what's gone on, on, on in the past, no matter how weird things have gotten, it, you can look back. Maybe if you are doing a share and turning back time, maybe you can look back and say, I see why it had to have been that way, because it forced me to focus more, work more, get serious about certain things, and in the end, all that work paid off. It got me where I wanted to be. It got me onto a new level. I have leveled up. And you sure have, Virgo. You sure have. Uh, as I'm tuning into your energy, I'm feeling something unusual too. I'm feeling like, throat chakra energy, like being lost for words, or some of you worried about doing public speaking. That could be a thing. Do you have to give a presentation? Do you have to advertise something? Do you have to stand up on a podium or do a video on YouTube or on social media where you are sharing something? Because I feel like, uh, um, you know, that kind of feeling of being stuck for words. But relax, you, you will be fine. Whatever it is you have, to, if it's an interview, relax. You will flow. Your work and your perseverance will speak volumes enough. It'll work out for you, Virgo. It will. Sorry, Virgo, I got cut out there. Just as I was saying about feeling like I'm nervous to speak, I'm nervous to speak, and then the camera shut down. It's like, uh, uh, if you have felt that nervous about doing some speaking, like I said, it'll be fine. But for those of you who may have felt that your voice was silenced over some issue and now you're getting an opportunity to speak up about something, relax, Virgo. As I said to you, the work and the effort and the planning and the, the effort that you've put into this is going to speak for itself. So you don't have to worry about trying to be fabulous and presenting everything in a fabulous show way. It's, it's not like that. Your work will speak for itself, okay? Now, here we have the energy of you being recognized. You're definitely being seen and noticed. People are saying, I see your skills. I see your talents. I see what you've done there. <laughs> and they're coming along and saying, how can we help you more? There's a moment here, Virgo, with the work you're doing that you feel, you feel that You've gone to a point where you need other people, perhaps, to bring you up to a next level. So that's why maybe collaborating with other people, getting the feedback from other people, getting noticed by your boss, your team manager, somebody like that. It's the moment where you've done all the hard, hard work and other people come in and kind of pull you out of where you were and push you up to that next level. So this is the energy of cooperating with other people. And taking the applause also for, for the work that you've been doing, take it. Take it, receive it, and enjoy it. And don't get all choked up and say, oh, 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 thank you, thank you, you know, and get all shy or anything like that. Receive it and say, I love it. <laughs> and you're saying, I'm not like that. I, I know. And that's exactly why you should do it. These moments don't often roll around. If you're getting applause, stand up and soak it in, Virgo, really do, you know, because you've done the work. Why not take the applause? You see, a lot of people don't know that. There's give and take. If you've given something and you've worked, 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 and you've handed it out and you've said, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is what I create, this is what I stand for, 
allow other people to also return that to you and receive it with gratitude. That's universal flow, okay? If you kind of get all shy and say, oh, no, 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 you're blocking a flow. You know, when you see it like that, it's easier to accept, you know, goodwill, good feeling and applause from other people in that way, you know. But you are being noticed. But I did say to you, some of you are definitely going to be receiving an offer to move on to some next level. And I wonder, is it an offer? Definitely an offer of a new job. Maybe the offer of the new contract that we spoke about. And even for some of you, an offer to move abroad. And I think you're really considering that. And for some of you, that offer to move abroad could be coming from love. So there's so much going on for you. I think that there is, there is firstly, this is a Cancerian style card and Cancer is your 11th house of success. And I think that you're being called to do more. Come with us, work with us, collaborate with me, join this team. It, it's like being attracted by a new offer. And you are very, very tempted to go with it. And why not? But as I said to you, Virgo, don't forget to really analyze any contract or the details of what exactly this is. You know, you can say to people, if they offer you a dream situation, you can say, this is exactly my dream come true, but can we get a few ground rules from the start? What exactly is this? Can you put that down in writing somewhere along the line, you know? But certainly for some of you, I do see that you're being called, called, called by somebody who you love and who loves you. Maybe who live in a different country or in a different state or so somewhere. It's, I feel that you're being called, come, come, come. For the singles, that's very inviting. So it might be worth doing because look at this. This is perfect. You're saying the devil and death is perfect? Are you insane? Right. This is Capricorn. Capricorn is sitting in your fifth house. This is Pluto, Scorpio, Capricorn, Saturn, Pluto. Pluto is sitting there also in your fifth house. Both of them working together to do what? Bring you success. Bring you joy. Bring you happiness. They've seen the hard work you've done in the things you're creating. Again, those of you working with children, success. Those of you who've had a real, real struggle raising children or dealing with some issue around children, it pays off. You've been forced to focus on these issues and it pays off. If, like I said, if you're creating something that's very personal to you, that has your name on it, your style on it, your particular individual mark on it, you've worked very, very hard, Virgo, and now you're seeing with Saturn and Pluto that it's paying off. You had been maybe trapped in some work position, family position, or even love position, or even some awkwardness around a child situation, maybe because of co-parenting, or maybe you and your partner not having the same parenting style. But you've worked hard and you've pushed through, and you've become a very responsible person in this area. And you're getting paid off. They are here saying, we've seen the work you're doing, and even though you might hate me, Saturn, Pluto, every time our names come up, it's always, oh, Saturn, oh, Pluto, oh, blah, blah, blah. We hate it, we hate it. We're the ones who were teaching you how to get through this. And in the end, we were the ones who brought you to that next level of success. It was your hard work, your effort, your discipline, your commitment, your consistency that is now giving you that reward. Yeah. But I will say this. There is a beautiful feeling of an ending. Going back to the start of the reading where I said there's a moment in a wild space, in a garden, around flowers, in nature somewhere, where there is that moment where you realise, I'm not trapped anymore. That has come to an end. I am not a slave to that work, that situation, that job, that relationship, that memory. I am not a slave to this thing anymore. I'm free. I'm free. Now, for some of you, I might say that if you have the energy of either Capricorn or Scorpio in your life, I see that they might be encouraging you 
Capricorn, Sun, Moon or Ascendant, Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Ascendant, also Cancer, they're all, they all seem to be encouraging you to do much better, to be a success, to have that success. They might be playing very supportive roles for you, in fact. Good friends, good co-workers, good bosses even. But there's something about either Scorpio, Capricorn or Cancer who may be bringing you that success. But look, here we go towards the end of the month. I did say, I feel it. You're having this amazing release and a joy, a spiritual joy that comes towards the end of the month where you're able to communicate something. You remember I said a few moments ago that it was stuck. I, 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 can't, I can't communicate. I can't share my idea. I can't get out there and promote my creations. I can't get... I, I, I feel like I have to say nothing and shut up. I can't say what I need to say. Well, you finally, before we leave this month, get to say what needs to be said because this is a great healing coming from communicating on a very deep, frank, forward, direct level. No lies, no weirdnesses, just this is the truth. And that heals. Towards the end of the month, the absolute truth heals. Maybe a truth that's brought to you through somebody who's very blunt and direct and matter of fact. And at first you're saying, oh my God, why, what, what, what? But it's a truth that heals, a truth that sets you free. <clears throat> but before I move on, this is a Sagittarius card. Great love coming from a Sagittarius too. Now that could be love from a friend who's a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon or Ascendant, or support from somebody who's that. But great love nonetheless, it could be a family member. But for the singles, there could be a strong Sagittarius influence in this Maybe new love that you might meet this month. Because, look, your last cards. This is success. This is healing. This is suddenly realizing something beautiful about your relationships, about yourself, about how you don't have to fight with other people, maybe. That there are better ways for people to treat you and for you to treat them. And it brings a sense of healing. This could be the end of a long war between you and somebody else, or a long stalemate. You suddenly realize that the worst is over. You've stepped through the other side. You've been given an ending to maybe what has been an awful situation. And this is the card of reminiscing, looking back. Now, we did say there might be some looking back in the past, but as we leave this month, now you're looking back in the past and saying, I can finally let that go. The what ifs, the if I could turn back time, I would do things differently. I can let things go. There is such love this month and support for you, Virgo. People coming out of everywhere to love you, support you, and push you more, push you more forward. You, it's like the, the cheerleaders. You have the cheerleaders behind you this month, cheering you on. Your own cheerleaders, I, I love that. And we end with this beautiful card, say, sun in Taurus style energy, where you're feeling that you're making, you're making something solid in your life, that success is finally coming where you've a solid ground You've done the practical work and now it feels like you've, you've earned a higher place, you've earned your posi position, you've earned your success, you've earned something and it feels good. And because of that, you're becoming definitely more discerning about who you give your time, energy and effort to from now on. That this taste of success and this feeling of being supported and loved you're saying, this is what I've always wanted. This is what I've been aspiring to. This I'm going to hold on and I'm going to put it in a beautiful glass case like Beauty and the Beast, the rose in the glass case. And I'm going to treasure it forever because this is what I'm holding on to now. I am letting go of where I've been. And I am kind of wiping my feet on that mat and taking the dust off my feet and stepping into a whole new moment where I say this is how it should be good friends 
rewards for the work I do and constantly having a, a solid place now where I can continue to move forward. I love it. Virgo, this for me has probably been the best energy I felt for you in a long, long time. There are huge endings of things that needed to be ended once and for all, maybe even long-term things, as I said, and you are stepping up with your own cheerleaders supporting you and loving you and winning, winning, winning. Virgo, I'm very proud of you because obviously you've put the hard work in to achieve this type of success. So well done to you. Virgo, my beautiful, as you know, these are the general energies. These are the general landscapes, energetic landscapes. To go into real detail about things, about this success and so on, about love, your relationship, looking for love, money, and particularly your career, family issues also, you know that we go right into the details on the Vimeo readings, the deep read, link down there below. Come along again this month and we'll open this right out. And if you haven't been to the deep read before, you are very, very much so invited. Come along. Like I said, it's linked down there below the deep read and we'll get into some extra details here, okay? And it'll be great to see you there. Um, my beautiful, enjoy every moment of this success because I do believe you deserve it and I am going to send you all my love and support and I can't send you a bouquet of flowers, but I can send you a big kiss. Congratulations. Mwah. Until next month, my beauty.